Hi, I'm Real Genetic Demon, and this is Astro Plumber on the Amstrad CPC. Now, I played this not too long back on the Acorn Electron, and it was a really good game, and I was really interested to see what other systems it came out on, and it seems it also came out on the Amstrad CPC. Basically, you're a plumber in space, mending holes on a base. So, that's the premise of the game. Um, the Amstrad CPC version, though, has kind of upped the ante. Um, the the graphics are nice and bright, and it's the it's the it's the it's the same it's the same sort of it's the same sort of game. Um, you get your air up here to refill your thing, your, your guy, which is your time. If you take too much, you explode. Um, you've got to avoid the little creatures here. But the thing is, the Amstrad version is a lot tighter in the corridors than the the the, the Acorn Electron version was, um, and a lot less forgiving. Uh, nice and bright, looks good, but a lot less forgiving. So this is our first one there. We we'll repair that. A few more colours as well from from the Electron version. Electron version, I think, only has the four colours on screen for this one. The moment you do that, it comes after you. So we'll run across here. Now we can do we can jetpack, but but uh, I don't know why I was jetpacking there because I need to jetpack over it if that makes sense can only shoot upwards to kind of seal the thing so so you kind of end up just doing what I'm doing now oh, that's not got it I need to go up that ladder to the next one before I did it I think that's kind of done it right so we'll go along here and we'll seal this one up and I'm gonna jump over it with a jetpack. I can't, can't get, can't get that quite right. The jetpack doesn't seem to do what it's meant to do. In the Acorn Electron version, the jetpack uh, allows you to jump over the creatures that are there, but the the Amstrad CPC version just seems to be, um, it just seems to jetpack upwards, and I can't seem to make it move. We'll try on this level. Just no, it seems to just jet. So I push it and then push across and nothing happens. It just sticks. That's all it does. It's really annoying actually that that's all we're getting out of it. Um, let that one bounce across there. It's kind of to let them go underneath you to, to jetpack past them but that's all you get out of it. Let's go into the next room anyway. So the idea is you see all the leaks and then I guess it repeats like, like a lot of games. So there's another another alien here, another bouncy alien. Let's see if we can get to the top and get some more air because we're running short. That might be a good idea. That might be a good move. Let's get refueled with air or re-aired. We're on the moon, by the way. We're on the moon as a little man. If we drink, if we have too much, we explode, which I think is quite funny. There we go. We've got enough. All right. Let's get this one if we can get it. Let's get him down that end there. It comes. It, they turn round the moment you 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 seal one of the gaps. I'm guessing these aliens are the ones who have burst it burst it in the first place. They're the they're the, the vicious nasty creatures who have have, have sealed up the, uh, the the area so that the little astro plumber can't do his job. Plumbing in space. There we go. See it turned turned round the moment I did that. So we'll, we'll wait for it to go that way, and we should be able to go faster than it. Hopefully, let's get some more air. Yes, that was quick. Doing quite well, actually. A little bit better than I did in the um, Aircon Electron version. However, as I say, the thrust is completely pointless in this particular game. Especially with what I've just told you about the, the way it kind of works. So, um, becoming... That's fine. Let's get that. No. So I'm stuck, you see. So you can't blast over them like you do in the Aircon Electro version. You sort of like fly over the top of them. So I'm kind of just jammed in the, where I am and that's kind of me getting murdered sort of brutally. Yeah. Let's see if we can get in the next room. We might as well while we're here. Yeah, I don't understand what the, the the thrust does if it doesn't do it doesn't do that. So we sealed that while we're at it. Get a bit more score. So you would need to thrust over that. I can't get it to, can't get it to move. 
Oh, it's done it now. Oh, right. There is a neat. There is a. There is a knack to it. Should we have one more go? There is a knack to it. Uh, demon. There we go. There is a knack to it. I think. I think you have to press. I don't think I can thrust in here. I must be. I must be in the level to thrust. Oh God. Time that badly. Durr, boom. Right. Okay. Let's just check that, that how that works. Let's do that again. So thrust. Right. Okay, so you press the thrust button and then you press left and right and that's you going. So it's like thrust is on. On and then off. So it thrusts that way. Which allows you to get across the level quicker. I, I which is which is good because that means you get away from the creatures quicker. So that's that's the So I can go thrust zap and then thrust did you see what i mean it gives you a little quicker run across it so you press the thrust then you press left or right and you you thrust up and and do what you need to do there that kind of makes sense i suppose it saves on the air situation as well which is quite good quite like that quite like that idea of that that's quite good let's have a little look My son in the background is watching vacuum cleaners because he quite likes them, um, and he's he's making a lot of oh god, I've run out of air. That's why he's making a lot of noise because he because he because he because he likes the vacuum cleaners. Well, that's quite. It's better than it was once I got the understanding of the thrust. It's a bit of a squeeze though that game. I like it. It feels like a game that should be. I don't, I guess who have play tested and created it and thought it was a it was easy enough, but I actually think it's quite a tough game. But I, either way, I quite like that one. That's that's worth playing. Um, get your old get your Amstrad CPC fired up. Get the old uh, as it called WinApe, I think it's called, which is the um, the the emulator fired up. Give them a try. Give it a go. It's well worth a go. Anyway, I've been your host, Real Giant Demon. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye bye now.